my neck. My back, I think that I should take a nap. Hello all of my sleepy bears, my name's Chronically Blue, welcome back to another episode of Sonic Frontiers, the final frontier, the final horizon, whatever it's called. And today, we are going through and we are doing quite a bunch of stuff. We are finishing up the Cocos, thankfully, and we're even going to be, you know what, I get my videos confused because I be editing things multiple times at once, especially when I'm not paying attention. So let me elaborate on that. Uh, I was playing Fall Guys with RPG Brian, aka some Call Me Brian, and I was like, oh, actually, while we do this, I'm gonna edit a video, because he was having some technical difficulties. Uh, they weren't long, and he was like, oh, well, you know, while you're editing that video, I'll go ahead and do this thing. I'm like, actually, uh, I'm done. And he goes, oh, okay, cool. So, I was like, perfect, we are gonna do this. And I had, I had plans, believe you me. I had plans to do something during this, and... That's not gonna happen because I was not prepared, but it's no biggie. It will happen eventually, don't you worry. What I did do was a lot of stuff. And I know this is your favorite part. This is the part where I ramble on about stuff in order to fill in the 20 minutes that we have here because this is all stuff that we've already seen multiple, 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 multiple times. Huh? Exactly. So, the stuff that I did, I painted the eaves. What is the eaves? It's the part under the roof and under the gutters but it's like it's prominent if you don't have like good gutters i painted that because they were like starting to show their age i was like okay we, we got to fix this up so i did that and i came inside i'm like oh i'm tired i don't want to do anything so i took a nap and it was a very good nap i i forgot when the nap started but i woke up at like 2 p.m and so i'm like okay i'm awake now kind of ish a little bit not really, but anyway. So, woke up from the nap, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna do this stuff today. And I did, I wrapped a bunch of Christmas presents, and chronically blue, Christmas already, have you not seen my profile? Have you not seen my icon about how it's chronically blue with the little Christmas lights around it? Or the banner that says happy holidays and a happy new year from chronically blue? No? Okay, cool, just me. Well, I do work on those, because it makes me happy. I like working on it, so, you know, whatever. The I wrapped a bunch of gifts. I have three things left to buy. And it is the 4th of November as I am recording this, so... Woo! That's not that bad. I'll, I'll take that. I just tried to get everything done as soon as possible, so one, I don't have to worry about it. Two, I don't have to worry about any deals and worry about people going and getting this, that, or the other, whatever, no, it's taken care of. Three, when it comes to December, I can actually, oh, I don't know, relax and enjoy the holiday season, enjoy the music, enjoy being out with friends and family, the colder weather, oh, the colder weather, I hope it comes really quickly. It's been so, so annoying. But at least today, while I was painting the eaves, it was breezy. So that kind of helped negate the effect of the Florida heat. But what we are currently doing is we are going through and we are just getting as many skill cocos as we possibly can because I'm like, you know what? I might as well get them. Yeah. Oh, hi, Eggman. There are so many huge ruins on this island. And the four rotating rings on Ares Island are ridiculously big. What a riveting observation. That facility is a kind of monitor that shows the link between the island and cyberspace. The four rings represent the four islands, and when they're rotating, they indicate the link with cyberspace is in effect. When a ring stops, it means there's some sort of abnormality in cyberspace. I'm certain there's a meaning behind their size as well. I imagine there are other functions I've yet to know about. How interesting. Cool. I wish I cared, but I don't. Um, <laughs> that was mean. It, I, I'm sorry. I meant for it to be mean. Um, I do have a little bit to talk about. So it has been uh, quite a bit, actually, since I've recorded, because I've mostly just been recording gameplay, because this stuff takes a while, and I am not good at it. And I, I can only say, hey, we are going around here so many times, you know? So, anyway, back to more of my life. To a fair the time. Excuse me, thought I was going to burp. I didn't, but, oh wait, hold on. Okay, perfect. I think it was quiet enough that Mike didn't pick it up. We had a Halloween contest at my job. And it was two different things. One of them was decorating the desk. The second one was coming up in your costume. 
So, me being like having so many things going on, I was like, okay, uh, 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 here, I'll get three bags of spider rings and like two things of spider web. Bam. And so I put the spider web on my desk and I meticulously placed the spider rings so that they were hooked onto the web. So, like, even if there was a hurricane, it still wouldn't come out, which is why the spider rings are very helpful. And then I put spider web on my chair and I'm like, bam, look at that. Because it, I was leaving a day early. So I thought it was funny. It was like, wow, I'm gone for one day and all, already there's a bunch of spider webs. What? I know. It, it was lame, but you know, for me, it was funny. And. But there was, this, there, there was a co worker who I would not say the name, but their desk was decked out, like, from the start. Like, once it hit, like, October 1st, they, they were ready. And, like, I kept looking at their desk, and I was like, your stuff is really good, but I'm gonna give you a run for your money. Thankfully, they did win the desk decorating competition, which I was very happy for. I was very happy for them. I was like, hey, you really deserved it. Like, I even told them, I was like, hey, I'm really happy that you did, that you got that, because you, you deserved it. And they're like, oh, thank you. And I was like, yeah. And for the Halloween, for the costume part, there was a bunch of people in costumes. Some of them were store-bought. And most of them looked pretty good. Like, like one dude came dressed as a uh, paintballer, although it was technically called speedballing, or speedballer, because I guess it's a subgenre of the paintball game. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about paintball. I know that there's balls in this paint, and you shoot, and it's fun. That's about it. I've never done it. I don't plan on doing it. I do not want to get the synthetic feeling of getting shot. That's not fun. I don't even like first. For, I don't even like shooter games most of the time. So yeah, that lets you know how much fun I'd have doing that. Anyway, uh, there was another person that was dressed up as a hippie, a tree hugger, if you will. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Me personally, I was dressed up as Augustin Madrigal from Encanto. No. I did not paint my face. No, I did not do anything else. I did not have an accent. I was just myself. I did the little thumbs up pose. I had the glasses. I shaved to only have the mustache. And yeah. The reason why I chose Augusta Madrigal is because I believe, believe, believe. He is, you know, I'm gonna stop what I'm saying right there because if it, five years later, someone could watch and be like, oh, he did this thing. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop what I'm saying right there. This is what happens when you are smart, or maybe I've said too much. I don't know. You may be noticing quite a bit of cuts. That's just because I'm trying to speed this up. Like I, I understand that we've been through this multiple times. I've been through this multiple times. So I understand that you just want to like, come on, show me the good stuff. Just, just let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm like I get it, I get it, I get it. I did not win the costume contest, which I was like, meh, oh well. But. A few people said that I should have dressed up like Bruno, and I was like, eh, that doesn't feel right to me. I, I don't think I quite have the, um, complexion to pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And for the male characters, th there was not a lot of choices. So, I picked the one that I thought I could fit the most well. Um, the person that won the costume contest was someone that came in a One Piece. No, not the anime. Uh, they were in, like, a black gown, like Elvira or Morticia Adams, and I'm just like, really? That? That's what won? That? Really? Like, okay, I, I'm not happy, but I don't really have much of a say, so, you know... Cool, I guess. Congrats on putting on one piece of costume. Great. It's not like you're wearing a three-piece suit like I am. But, you know, I'm not salty. I'm not salty. No, I, I, it's fine. Anyway. With that being over, we have a holiday uh, desk decorating competition coming up. And when I tell you, I... I I was sitting there working, like I, I, I was literally working, I'm just like, ooh, I have this idea. And I grabbed some paper, grabbed a pen, and I, I drew a blueprint of my idea. And I was very excited. Like I, I have all my head. I just need to go and get it all 
approved before I can do it because I, I don't want to buy everything and then be like, oh yeah, uh, you can't. And I'm like, great, glad I wasted my money on this. So I'm trying to make sure that it gets approved before I do anything. And we cannot even decorate until after Thanksgiving, which first off, lame. Second off, that put me in a slight depression. Third off, <laughs> let me elaborate on that a little bit. So I was, I was genuinely in the Christmas spirit on uh, thanks, uh, Thanksgiving, sweet goodness, November 2nd. And I don't know why. I was just like, you know what? I, I'm looking forward to this. I got some, I'm, I'm ready. Like, this one coworker won because they got started early and they had great stuff. I'm gonna get started on my stuff early and slowly. So I brought in two little tiny uh, trees with ornaments. And a coworker came by and said, hey, our manager said that we can't do that until after Thanksgiving. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, they haven't said anything to me. And then, like, they were making jokes about how, yeah, you know, they can do it, but we can't, you know, what? So I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll take these down then. So I put them down under my desk and just conceal them. So it's like, yeah, it's no big thing. I'm not rubbing it in everyone's face. And on that day, I was looking and I realized, oh, my bank account is not fantastic. I'm fine. Keep doing your thing. On it. It's working. Just a few more and I can hack my way in. Whatever you tell yourself. So, my bank account was not looking great. There was just a lot of stuff happening. And so I got into like a really sad episode. It wasn't long, thankfully. It was really short. And the reason why I say this is because not even like the same day, like maybe less than 24 hours after that, uh, Pluto TV, if you know them, I'm a big supporter of Pluto TV. You can go check them out. They are, it is, it is a free app, no sign up, no credit cards, no nothing, just a bunch of free programming with ads. I like it. They have released their holiday channels. They have a Vivo holiday music channel. They have a crackling fireplace, a crackling fireplace with music, uh, holiday lights with music, and like three different Christmas movie channels. So I'm just like, heck yeah. Anyway, we have a cutscene coming up. Oh no you don't. Sonic handled four islands of this mess. I'm not going down in just one. You hear that? This isn't over until I win. Yeah, what he said. I actually like that little roof there. Alright. Now we're going to play about a little time. But now we can finally play as Tails and we can finally finish the map. Sweet goodness, I've been wanting to do this since we started here. I think that thing is trying to create more defense thingies. I'll keep hunting them down. You get us those emeralds. Don't stop now, Tails. We're counting on you. Yeah, 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 whatever. We've cleared the way for you, kid. Finish it. Whatever. It's weird that they keep saying finish it and then they're like, oh yeah, you know, you can play as them later. So I'm thinking maybe once you finish it, then you can just play as the different characters in this island, maybe? That's what I'm thinking? Okay, got more map done. And there's another map Coco, because of course there is. There's, there's like 15,000 map Cocos here. Okay, and that one. There we go. Okay. So, I went to Target, and surprisingly enough, the same day that I'm having the, the low point, the anti-Christmas stuff, and all that, that's when Target has a bunch of holiday stuff. And I'm just like, what? And they have, like, just about everything that I needed for my decoration plan. I was like, yes! And it was all, like... It was all in the cheapy section. I was like, yes! So I, I picked up, like, so many of the things I was thinking of. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. 
the only thing I need left now is a few more tiny people and uh, maybe like a little faux fire as well as tinsel. I need like a few different colors of tinsel to make everything work. So I'm just so excited. And I was talking to a different coworker about it as well and they were saying about how they were going to do a Grinch theme. I'm like, hey, that's pretty good. And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, can I suggest an idea? Maybe you have three different sized hearts of like varying, like wear and tear on them of different sizes. And they're like, that's a great idea. I never would have thought about that. So what can I say? I'm a giver. So when I tell you, you're going to want the cyclone boost as soon as possible. You're going to want the cyclone boost as soon as possible. Okay. Watch this. Not only is it a boost, we can also change our trajectory, and it can be activated in mid-air. This tears Tails, Map Cocos apart completely. Just completely demolishes them. So uh, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit, because you do not need to see me go through and do all that. So look at this, okay? Look, 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 look. Are you looking? Are you looking? Are you looking? I think you're looking. Look, 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 look. Okay, so we're going to mess up here, but just ignore that. Look, 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 look. Do you see how we can change the trajectory and how we can just very easily go up, 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 up? Like, that is fantastic. This is exactly what we needed. So, to have something like this just literally be handed to us, it is fantastic. I'm just like, I like that. I, I, I like that a lot. Yes, I do. Now, obviously, I'm not good at the flying yet. You know, sue me. D don't. I don't have the funds for you to sue me. But. With this, it is fantastic. It just makes things so much easier. Uh, just ignore how I'm having severe difficulties right here. Everything else is super easy. It's just, it's just this part right here is very difficult. And I almost think the developers knew that the uh, Tails Map Cocos were going to be like the very final ones because they, they definitely kind of made it that way. I was like, yeah, let's, let's make these ones difficult because we know that they're going to play as Tails last. So. Cool, I guess. Thanks. You know, whatever. Hate that. But. We're going to go ahead and get right here. Right here. Right now. That's from a song I know it is. I just don't know what it's from. I know right now. You'll do right now. That's SR71 right now, but right here. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, we're going to start collecting a little bit of rings. Just because we need to fill up our little Psy Plasma Blaster thing in order to shoot on the walls. So yes, if, again, with the little things there, if we just shoot it, and it will activate. Like so. Yeah, so you actually cannot defeat them. You need the Psy Blaster, which is very helpful. Another map, Coco. What do we got? I think I saw... Yes, we do have another one. Okay, right, well, we are going to go ahead and highlight that. And then we're going to uh, rock a boost. This, it's so fast. I like it so much. I can change the altitude. It is, uh, I was starting to lose hope, but then they did this. I'm like, oh, you do care. You do appreciate me. Oh, this is, oh, it's beautiful. It's way better than Amy's thing, way better than Knuckles' thing, way better than Sonic's thing. It's fantastic. I can change the altitude. I can get to all the hard to reach spots. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it so much. We have another map, Coco, which I believe we are able to handle. We are just knocking these things out. We are just taking it out one by one by one by one by one. Yes, I will go through and get the skill code codes with Tails, because sweet goodness, why not at this point? We will get everything. We will, we will do it all. I'll even go through and do the Guardian boss fights as Sonic, because why not? You know, like, let's... We're already there. Let, we're, let, let's just finish it. Let's finish it already. I just want it done. I, like, I, like, I, I don't know how to say this, but I am looking forward to Sonic 06. Like, very genuinely, I am very much looking forward to Sonic 06. So that way I can just have a game where the goal is just get to the end. Just beat the game. Don't get all the Soliana medals, because those literally do nothing. Don't, don't, just, just get to the end. And, I even love all y'all, and I happily restate this in the Sonic 06 Let's Play. 
I paid for the DLC. So, it's gonna be a fun time. But, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, my CP Bears!